Hi, it's Mates from My Life Mates. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today is a five minute Friday video and I thought I would cut this up with you. This is a Midori B6 slim sized notebook and it's the MD paper. And as you can see, I it's starting to curl a little bit there and I thought I would cut it in half and share with you how I do it on camera because I think there was somebody that requested that I do this on camera so that you can take a look and see how I do it. I've actually never done this before but <laughs> I've never done this before so I hope it goes well. Um, I also want to just add some packing tape to the back here as the cover um, and I'll do that at the end but let's start with this cutting process. So when you look closely, um, you'll see, oh, I already kind of started ripping it. Um, so if you look closely, you can see that there are signatures and the signatures are just basically a collection of paper folded in half. So it's kind of like a pamphlet. There are all these pamphlets in, um, so all of these pamphlet type of notebooks or these small little signatures are glued in and sewn in together. If I were to open up the pamphlet or open up the signature and slice it down here in the middle, then these papers will become loose and I won't be able to use them. I mean, I could use them, I could washi tape them in, but um, ideally I would like to break it open right here where the signature is is uh, there's one signature here and one signature here so it's right in the middle right here where I could hopefully you can hopefully see that I'm going to try and use an exacto knife and slice that down we'll see how that goes um, but yeah the, I'm assuming that this is held by stitches you can see the stitching as well as uh, glue so let's see how this goes I might end up ripping the bookmark because I'm going to slice it right down the middle so the bookmark might end up falling out. Um, anyways, let's see. I think I'm going to end up slicing the bookmark. I don't know how this is going to go because I'm really not, I'm kind of blindly cutting it. Um, I'm just blindly cutting it. I'm not even checking to make sure if it's between the signatures. So let's see if I can spread that. Oh no, the bookmark is going to break. So yeah, I'm going to lose the bookmark. I'm going to end up losing it, which is okay. So if you see right there, the binding still remains with this section of the notebook and I'm just going to try and slice it right down so that I don't cut any other pieces of paper. And I recommend doing a little bit and then opening it up with your hands and then a little bit and then opening it up again. That way you know that you're not slicing into unnecessary bits. So there's that. So there's that. <laughs> I think this is going to be over five minutes. I'm sorry if it is a little bit over, but um, yeah, I didn't cut through any of this existing binding, so I'll just put some packing tape right over that and cover this up as well. Then now this is free. I did damage the bookmark a little bit, but it's still quite on there, so I can still use it. And I didn't, thankfully, I didn't cut through any of the other binding here and so this is the other half of the B6 Slim Midori notebook right here so I'm just going to because it was just curled so yeah there's all this that I can now work with it's all fine I think I might just add some washi tape to um, make that look pretty 
and uh, if the washi tape is not strong enough then maybe add some duct tape or some packing tape as well so there's that um, any tips I guess this is my first time so I would suggest to cut a little bit and then spread it apart with your hands so that you can kind of see where you're cutting instead of because uh, right here I was kind of blindly doing it thankfully I didn't cut um, you know some of this part here I thought I would maybe cut be cutting into some of the pages in here but um, maybe just start little by little and just kind of using your hands to manually spread them apart so that you can see the binding stretching and you can see where to cut. It's very, very easy. I didn't use any force. Well, I, I mean, I used a little bit of force, but it's really not that hard. Um, once you see the binding here, it's very, it's just a, like one layer. So it's not like a, it's not like you have to use a lot of force to <laughs> cut down with the X-Acto knife. And it's a small little tiny X-Acto knife. It's not a huge thing. So anyways, I, it's probably over five minutes, but I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.